子给我牵了。It is a Nerf sledge fire with a modified spring and, and what I call a manual select fire. It means that it can select the ammunition it wants to shoot out and the amount of darts you want to shoot out. There are two types. First of all, you can use normal darts and three shot. And the second choice is Stephen dots and one shot. Obviously, I used Stephen Dars in the one shot 3D printed show because I think Stephen Dars can have a better range so that it's basically to select, bef uh, to select this which is uh, a, an ability to shoot a lot of stars in, uh, at an instant actually and be able to destroy your enemies who is very close to you but this it actually can be used as a sniper shell because it can this buster really hits very hard with one darts and it's a Stephen because the modification spring in this is a 15 kilogram spring when you when you're using three darts it's actually five kilograms on each dart so the the pressure exerted to the darts are not very great but Imagine if 15 kilograms of these power was in, was all given to a Stephen, that would definitely be awesome. But since we are using a 3D printed kit, 3D printed shell, those power might lose some part of it in the meantime. But there still uh, should be more than 10 kilograms on this one tiny dart. So I, this, this can really travel very far. So now let's talk about... Uh, how this blaster appears to be. Well, obviously I made a mistake here. I bought a laser, laser cutted uh, panel with empty NP spaces that had these three, uh, these six alphabets, but I didn't thought that those paint would actually just roll inside and make everything messy. So next time when I'm going to do something like this, I'm going to put, put it in a flat place like here because then there won't be those gaps so that those paints those not solidated paint won't fall in it and of course i think this poster looks awesome this is because i'm using a very special silver for it uh, first i gave it a, a black paint and then i gave it a silver paint you have already seen it in my paint video and uh, because I'm a bit careless, some of those places are st have still shades of black on them, but I think that's definitely no big deal. And on the other side, this paint problem is more serious. We got TRI, which is, I think, n negligible, but on an FOE is completely unnegligible un and here there's it's very messy but the other parts of the blaster is very good especially if you see it under the sunlight it just shines and I also got a belt that I can put a lot of those shells on because a problem you would encounter if I using a sled file would be there are only maximum capacity four shells which means that you have to reload every time you f you shoot four times and that's not good either in normal war modes or in HVZ modes so with this huge belt uh, shell containing belt you can just have 
uh, the maximum capa capacity will rise to 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13. You have 13 shots after you reload every shell, and that is basically the same with some spring blasters. And that's, I think, remarkable because given that this blaster has the ability to shoot so many darts at the same time and shoot one dart so powerfully.